Understanding Finder, let's go. When you open up Finder, you will see a series of sidebar items. Think of these as folders that are already created, as you can create a new one by right-clicking and then hitting New Folder, and then you can drag this onto the sidebar. The folder is still located where you created it, which for me is in the desktop, but just available for easier access in the side menu. Move that folder into the trash by right-clicking it, and it will also be removed from the side menu. Or you could also just right-click it in the sidebar and remove it by clicking that option. By doing this, you would still have access to that folder in the desktop. To better see how everything is folders, you can go to View, then Show Path Bar, which, when I click on Desktop, shows me what the hierarchy is, as Desktop is within the main disk, which has a Users folder, and then within that User folder is My User, and then under My User is this Desktop folder. For everyone, the only difference should be the user, as you would have had a different username. You can actually click on your user, and it will take you inside this folder, and you'll see a lot of familiar folders, like Desktop and Downloads, under here. There's also some others which you could drag and drop onto the side menu, but instead of doing that, you can go select Finder in the top left corner, and then Settings, and then Sidebar to enable or disable these folders. Still in these settings, but under General, you'll see that you actually have more control on what displays on the desktop, and what you want Finder to display when you open it. I personally avoid opening on Recents, because while it does show what your recent files are, it can be in any folder, which just makes organization a little more complicated. So that's how Finder works, but it doesn't really help if you don't know how to navigate, which is why in every folder there are these four top icons which display your folders differently. And it's up to personal preference. I personally like the standard list because you can use the drop down to get deeper, or you can also double click, which will just limit the rest of the options so you can't close it. Though that said, I also like the sidebar list, as it's nice because you can use the arrow keys to quickly jump within a series of folders, and quickly find what you're looking for. Finally, you can sort through your folders by selecting the drop down menu, which has a bunch of options like date added, and just make looking through folders and files easier. Well, hopefully this helped you understand Finder better, and I'll see you in another quick tip. Bye!